Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video I want to show you some cool editing functions for song arrangement that have to do with cutting, copying, and inserting sections, or inserting silence in the tracks area in Logic. You can find all of these functions under Edit, and then you can go down to Cut Insert Time, and there are five functions in particular here that I want to talk about in this video today. Now these are not some obscure functionality in Logic, but if you're a beginner to using Logic, you probably don't know about these yet. Now you can easily build out song arrangements in the Live Loops grid just by inserting scenes from Live Loops over into the tracks area. I'm aware of that, obviously. I use Live Loops all the time. Um, and you can also use arrangement markers if you if you choose to do so. But I totally get it. Not everyone likes using live loops or the arrangement markers. Some people just want to build out song arrangements the old fashioned way. So so in this video, I'll show you how to do that. So let's get right into this. Let's say I have a song that has five sections like this and I'll just show my global tracks and maybe I have an intro. Let's call this intro one and I have an intro section two. Then maybe I have an instrumental bridge or break, then uh, so we'll call this a verse, and then chorus. Now, if I want to arrange this song, I have to figure out the song order, and as you know, sometimes the song order changes. Sometimes you might add an extra verse, an extra chorus, an extra break, a bridge, whatever it may be. And it's not always easy to drag over all of these regions, shift them over, and insert uh, other material. Well, using these edit functions make this makes this a little bit easier. Let me show you the second function first, copy section between locators. So what you can do is set your snap mode to bar and then drag over a section that you want to copy. So let's say, for example, I want to copy the instrumental bridge, the verse, and the chorus. Let's say that after my chorus, I want a bridge, a second verse, and a second chorus. So if you just set your locators here with the cycle range, go up to edit, then go down to cut insert time, and then select copy section between locators. This is the only one of these that doesn't have a default key command for it. It will copy all of these in between the locators. Now if I just simply set my playhead here at measure 41, and then press command V to paste, it copies all of those sections over. Now I can uh, go ahead and duplicate just by holding option my marker is over, so if I want to do that, I can do that as well. And then I've copied uh, my chorus, and it just flows right into the instrumental bridge. Now, let's say that I decide later on that I don't want this first instrumental bridge. Maybe I want this bridge. Maybe I want the intro to go right into the verse. Well, there's another function. If I just set the locators right over the instrumental bridge, go to edit, cut insert time, this option, cut section between locators, and this is control command X, that will cut out that entire section and shift everything over. Uh, and by the way, you can come over here and repaste it if you like, but you can also just cut it just for the sake of removing it. I'll hit undo a couple times just to go back to what I had before. And another function up here that's really helpful is insert section at playhead. This is control command V. So let's say that for my first verse here, I want this to be a double verse. I'm gonna drag over this section. I'll copy the section between the locators. Then what I'll do is set the playhead right here in between the first verse and the first chorus, and then use that insert section at playhead, or press Control Command V and it inserts an extra verse there and shifts everything over. Now you just have to be careful because the uh, the song range here, you may have to pull out the, uh, the song length here just to make a little extra room, but otherwise that's a real easy way to copy something in. Otherwise you'd have to like manually drag all of this over, then drag each of these markers over, and then duplicate all these verse regions and then duplicate the marker. So that, that's kind of a pain, and it's especially more of a pain if you have a lot more tracks than this in your project. So I find this uh, really, really helpful uh, for song building and song arrangement. Now let's say that I wanna build a new section. Let's say that instead of this instrumental bridge, I wanna build a custom new section from scratch. So let me go ahead and cut this out. So Control Command X, so it's gone. 
But now I just want to insert silence here. Maybe I want to insert eight bars of silence so I can build a new section. Well, if you set the locators and the length of silence that you want to insert, go to edit, cut insert time, and then this fourth option here, insert silence at locators. What that'll do is insert eight bars of silence in between those two sections based on the length of time you selected up here in the locators. Now another function um, that also will work if you're trying to duplicate a section like I did before, let's try this again with the, uh, the verse here, the first verse. If you set the locators, go up to edit, cut insert time, repeat section between locators or press control command R, this will repeat that section. So that's actually a faster way to do it than what I did earlier, copying it and then and then pasting it. But one thing that always comes up here is not all songs are right on the downbeat. Not everything uh, is always in four bar, eight bar structures. If you're working with a song that's not like right on the grid, you may have to come back in here, turn off your snap edit and sort of, you know, do some manual editing in between these regions uh, to adjust sort of the joining points if there are notes that are a little bit ahead of the beat or maybe they're on an offbeat, uh, a lot of times you'll see songs that are like on the and of four or on the the uh, one, uh, four E and uh, the, the uh of four. So um, that's not uncommon. So you just have to come back in here and do some manual editing for sections like that. So those are the cut insert time functions. I find them super useful for song arrangement. These are really a, a fundamental skill to learn in Logic. Um, I, I think everyone should learn how to use these. They're a fundamental um, song building and song arrangement skill, editing skill in Logic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you for the support and thanks for watching.